Okay, now turning our attention to the orcine stain, I actually had a bit of trouble finding an example of bad stains. In fact, most of them were actually pretty good. Um, let's begin with this slide. This is actually the one that was demonstrated during the orcine staining protocol video. And we can see in the esophagus, deep in the wall, we've got this nice artery here. The internal elastic lamina is well demonstrated, as well as some finer elastin fibres further out. Within the connective tissue here as well, we've got that nice contrast between that brick red colour. And in terms of the nuclear counter stain, this was the Mayer's. This was actually the one that was left on for a bit longer, so it had the sort of 20 plus, not 15 or so. And that actually looks pretty good. Importantly, you can see how clear the collagen is. There's a hint of colour, but you wouldn't actually describe it as brown. It's maybe a very sort of pale, uh, off-white colour. So that's um, pretty good. As we go out here into the skeletal muscle, that's holding a little bit more colour, but it still looks pretty good overall. The main thing is that in the connective tissue where we are trying to visualise the elastin, it's, it's really clear. Okay, so let's turn our attention now to a different tissue. Let's look at some sections of skin and we'll compare two slides. The first of these, I think we'll go with um, uh, just the Mayer's hematoxylin again. So we should be seeing similar results as what we've just seen on the last slide. Okay, so just bringing that into focus. It's a bit upside down, so I'll just turn it around that way just to orientate ourselves a little bit. Okay, so starting with the epidermis up top there, go to the same 20x power as what we just had. So this is a really nice orcine stain that demonstrates that principle of how effectively this stain can pick up those very fine elastin fibres as well as the more coarse fibres that are deeper within the dermis. Just go to a higher power again just because they're so nice and see if we can pick them up clearly at the higher power. So you see in there these branching networks of elastin reaching up to the basement membrane. That's really nice staining of elastin. As we come back down deeper we can see that there are equally thicker bundles that are well stained. The collagen itself you'd have to say has got a, a definite colour to it and we're really probably looking at a, at a combination here of both the haematoxylin, the Mayer's haematoxylin that's been applied and there's clearly also a, a, a fraction of uh, probably the orcine stain that might be contributing as well. But it's still a really nice outcome. Everything is quite clear. Just drop that back down a little bit to look more generally around. I, I would say this is good. I would be tempted to maybe see if we could reduce the level of background a little bit. So uh, how you would attempt to do that is either by doing less time in the haematoxylin. It's probably looking more like an issue of having just slightly too much of the orcine still present in the collagen. But, you know, I'm getting really, really technical. This is a, a nicely stained section of skin with the orcine. Okay, so let's now look at a, another section of skin. Um, this one, I believe, has been counter-stained with... Oh, no, it's the same again. So it's Mayer's, again, that's been applied alone. And let's just think about how this compares to the last one. It is a different block to the one that we've just seen. I'll try and move around to an area that's perhaps closer to what we've just had. Okay, so here again is an area close to the epidermis there. Once again, we can see some quite fine fibres that are extending up towards the epidermis. And we've also got those more thicker bundles that are deeper within the dermis. This, however, is one where clearly we can see there's a still a lot of brown colour being held uh, within the collagen fibres itself. So um, how would you address that? Well, if you remember the protocol video, that first step where the slide goes into the 70% alcohol is your opportunity to reduce that level. 
you can check it and if you see something a bit like this then it means that you need a little bit more time in the alcohol to, to, um, to reduce that back to something similar to what we saw in the preceding section. If you find that's not working, well, you've got that option to go to the 90% alcohol with a bit of acid alcohol in it. So the acidified alcohol is basically another step that's often recommended for reducing any brown discoloration that you may find in either the collagen or the cell nuclei. Okay, So those would have been the two things that I would have attempted on this occasion. Just looking at the hematoxylin itself, um, it's, it's clearly there. Um, it's a bit, I don't really have a strong view on it, actually. I um, have to go just to a high power here to get a closer look. It, it looks quite dark. It's, um, I think I'm probably more distracted by those collagen fibres being overly dark here. So, um, yeah, just looking, I've got some sweat glands here. That actually looks probably pretty reasonable. <laughs> you can see the nuclear, nuclear details quite well. So yeah, that's not really a, a sort of big factor. Maybe if the collagen was clearer, you'd be able to get a, a, form a, a better opinion of the uh, nuclear details on that. So yep, overall it works. It's demonstrating the elastin, but those collagen fibres are clearly still too brown. So there's, there's room for improvement on an otherwise okay slide. Finally, let's look at another option. Um, this is probably the combination in pathology laboratories depending upon the, the tissue that's being looked at. It, it's probably the more conventional way of doing an orcine. That is with using uh, hematoxylin and eosin as the counterstain. Now this is a section of aorta so there's some very very thick elastin bundles towards the middle they can be a bit of a challenge to clear sufficiently that you can see some surrounding structures. So I'm going to focus out on the outside, the connective tissue, where there's an example of a, uh, a nice artery which will appear somewhat similar to what we've seen in the earlier slides. So I'm just going to go up to a 40x power to show that more clearly. So here we see at the 40x magnification the internal elastic lamina of this artery is really very nice, clearly demonstrated. Uh, the nuclear staining also looks pretty good and the collagen towards the connective tissue side there is, is great. So the fact that we've used eosin here, which is a pink stain, it's still contrasting quite nicely with those brick red elastin fibres. So, um, yep, it's a really great result. I, I really don't have anything that I could criticise this one on. It's looking okay. If we go a little bit further in, these are the very thick elastin fibres uh, with the internal structure of the aorta itself. What I often look for when navigating through that area, just as a check, is to see whether the cell nuclei can be seen as well. And I think there's pretty reasonable um, staining. Uh, of the nuclei within that, that space there. So overall, this is really good. Okay, so there's an example of some orcine stains. Um, typically, it is a more, uh, we'll say it's less technically challenging to perform, but pay attention to the mayors. Do it progressively. Be careful that you don't overdo it. And with your initial rinsing in the alcohol, make sure that you do it sufficiently to get those collagen fibres clear. And if you still think there's too much colour there, you can go to the acid alcohol briefly. Again, do it progressively in small steps and you should have no trouble with this stain. Okay, so that's, that's all for now. Thanks.